The rector of Teutonic College said a prayer at 8.15 a.m. Rome time, kicking off the work of a team of about 15 people. Their mission was to verify whether these two tombs contain the remains of Emanuela Orlandi. She was a young woman who disappeared in 1983. Emanuela's relatives, including her brother Pietro, were among those present. The Orlando family's lawyer indicated which tomb should be inspected. It had an angel holding the inscription, rest in peace. However, to avoid any misunderstanding, the Vatican prosecutor asked for the tomb next to it to be opened as well. The sepulchres date back to the mid-19th century. They belong to two people of royalty, Princess Sophie von Hohenlo and Princess Charlotte Federica of Mecklenburg. This is important, the tomb is the isolation of the time, this is not a Roman model. The first tomb took them to a 13 by 121 foot underground area where they found something completely unexpected. The opening of the second tomb was easier. However, again, the result was disappointing. There were no human remains. In theory, they should be able to find bones to analyze the DNA. It's a process that can take around 20 to 60 days. However, this case was closed in only three hours. Now the family is asking for explanations. Why during this last year there were people whose indications led them to these graves? The princess's families did not know their remains had been removed. Thus, the Vatican announced past documentation relating to the cemetery would be examined. This order will reveal if there had been any alterations in the restructurings that had taken place since the end of the 19th century. The mystery of Emanuela Orlandi remains an unsolved case. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android, in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy. All this in a short and direct format brief videos of one to two minutes so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now, download the Rome Reports app, and follow Pope Francis everywhere.